Right, so point two of making a mood board, we have a look across at the images. Now, you're going to get assessed on is this appropriate. So you need to look at your content and think, is it appropriate? I've tried to cover lots of different angles here. I've got photographs and I've got graphics. I've got running equipment, fell running, park running, road running, a good variety. One of the beauties of mood boards is they don't just have to be on one slide, you could have several mood boards. So if you was doing fitness and healthy eating, you could do one mood board for both, or you could do two separate ones. So you could do slide number one and make a mood board about the fitness side of things, and slide number two about the healthy eating. So once you've got a good mixture of graphics and photographs, we then need to focus on the other elements, which is fonts and colours, which can be added onto a mood board. So this mood board is rather leaving a little lip. I've put zigzaggy style photographs across the mood board and I'm going to make a colour palette. Easy to do. All you need to do is go to insert and in the shapes, let's get a rectangle. I'll just put a rectangle on the bottom. So it doesn't really matter what size it is, but obviously the palette needs to be visible. I'm going to double click on that. I'll go to format. And I'm going to make sure it's just got a white fill to start off with, with a black border. I now need to put some palette colours in there, so you can use either circles or squares. And I might use circles, actually. So I'm going to hold the shift key. If you hold the shift key when you make a circle, it holds the dimensions, so the width and the height are completely equal. I'm then going to copy. In fact, actually... I'm going to put a black board around the edge, and then I'm going to copy and paste that. Make sure it's nicely lined up. And I'm going to think, how many colours would I like? Well, I think four colours is probably enough. So, these colours are meant to represent something to do with running, or, if it's not specifically about something to do with running, a colour scheme which I would like to pick for my business organisation or whatever project I'm working on. So for your colour palette, let's double click. So I think green represents running in fields and countryside. Um, I'm going to double click and pick a nice shade of blue which represents the sky. Um, I also quite like red just as a theme for the business organisation. I think yellow is quite a nice vibrant colour. So I'm going to choose yellow as well because I think that stands out against black backgrounds. And so there I've got a little colour palette on there as well. So I've now got three items. I've got photographs, I've got graphics, I've got colours. I now need to go off to fonts. Now for fonts, you can again pick something which you think is going to appeal to your audience or something specifically which links in with what you're doing. So I might, again, I might just put the font on there or... I might put a border around the font which stands out more. So let's have a look. So we put a text box on or even go insert word art. I'm going to put words on associated with this. So I might put running. And again, if you look at it, it doesn't really stand out on the background. So you might double click on the box. And so on format, I might go to shape fill and just give it a white background. So you can actually see the font a little bit more easily. Now I think I'm going to make this font italic because italic represents running because it's moving forward. It looks like motion. I'm going to pick a font which I think so I might use something like this. That font's called Adventurer which is good for running and again I might choose a shade for my colour palette. So I might think you know what red's on the colour palette or I could use the eyedropper. So if you go into eyedropper you can actually pick that colour and it drops that specific colour in for you. So I've now got a nice font there, which I might like for running. And rather than remake this box, I can just copy it and paste it. And then I might make another box. So I might put the word sprint. And once I put the word sprint in there, um, I might highlight that and again... I might use colours from my colour palette, so use the eyedropper, let's pick the yellow one, so I've got sprints, I've got running, I might think, you know what, I want the border around this font as well, so I might go to 
text outline, give it, just brings the font out a little bit more. So you can experiment with the fonts as you go along. So I'm going to do two more boxes. Um, so I'll copy and paste this twice. So I'll have like four different fonts representing four different colours with four different uh, words. So this one, we'll make a small one. We'll call this one Jog. And let's just experiment with some different fonts. So let's have a hunt around. doesn't really matter at this stage which ones you think, uh, pick. You're just experimenting because, uh, again, you're picking something which generates ideas quickly. So I've got a yellow, a blue. I need a red. Oops. Yep, done that. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to drop this one. And I'm going to make this green. Just pick another style of font. And by the time I've put this in, it's not been the biggest job in the world. But if you look at that, I've got running, sprint, jog, and fell run. And all of a sudden, I've got all the key components. So I've got photographs, graphics, fonts, colours. And if all the content is appropriate, I am likely to get into the top mark band for this piece of work.